Hi guys, it's Dinosaur Friend, and it's time for another Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So last time around, uh, we beat Groose in the big race and, you know, found the Loftwing and everything. And then Princess Zelda got captured by a crazy tornado, so now we gotta go this way because we heard sounds coming from this direction. Uh, that's... Ah! Who are you? Are you the great spirit of- Oh no, you're gonna do this like stupid thing where you run and I have to like follow you forever? Oh man. Not- Oh, I can't go through doors, man. You gotta like- Come on. Come on, man. Alright, this is Skyloft. Um... Oh man, I have to keep following you. Where are you taking me? Oof. Oof. Ah! I gotta like make it. Uh, okay, good. I didn't die. Oh, it's a uh, Mr. Kitty Cat that I rescued long ago. Are you gonna talk to me? Are you gonna have a scary face? Are you gonna have a scary face when you turn around? You're gonna have a scary face, aren't you? I knew it! Ah! What the frick, man? What the frick, man? Um, okay. Uh, okay, I gotta drop down. Ooh, treasure chest, treasure chest. what do I get? I got a red rupee! It's worth 20 rupees! Alright, um, ooh. There's, uh, you over there. Am I missing something here? I don't know, but, um, this cat is... I don't want to hurt you because you're, like, Kapora's, like, best friend. Alright, I gotta recuperate my energy because I think I gotta... I think I gotta do this thing. Yeah. Leap! Leap! Alright. Alright, alright. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, ah, I hear your mysterious, creepy sounds. Alright. Alright, gotta go. Get over here. Ah! No, go away, bat. Ugh. Ah, there's more of you. All right, take that. I got it. All right, um, gotta hook onto this thing. Ah. Wait, I lose energy when climbing. This is really scary. I don't like this mechanic. I want more energy. Now get back here. I need to talk to you. I need I need to talk to you. Stop running away. Alright, who are you exactly? Alright, fine. Go into a wall where I can't go into. Oh, okay. Thank you for opening the door for me. I guess I guess the door was just unlocked. Okay, so we got to go inside. Uh, this is behind the statue of the goddesses or whatever, or the statue of the goddess. Are you the goddess? Actually, I think I know who you are. You're uh, you're probably the Navi, um, which I believe your name is Fee, but I don't know. Oh, it's like a master sword, but it's not because it looks different. Hello. The one chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. Ha! <laughs> I don't believe in destiny. According to your social customs, I shall provide you with my personal designation. Uh, my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. Hi, Fee. I knew you were Fee. Hi, Fee. Um, I was created for the single purpose long before the recorded memory of your, your, your people. I must aid in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Oh man. Come, Dino, you must take up the sword. As you, as the chosen one by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. 
To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to sh share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. High probability? Are we gambling? The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Okay, cool. Yay, I'm happy but blurry. And this spirit maiden, the one you called Zelda, is chosen one... Uh, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you and set out to search for her. Okay. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? Yeah, give me the pretty sword. I want the sword. She's like, no. No, I will block you. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Ooh, I get to point it. Okay. So I got to draw the sword. Am I strong enough to do it, or else, or I'm gonna have to? Um, okay, uh, re ready. St Ooh, all right. Do I just like pull it up? Yeah, I pulled it up. Raise it up. <laughs> yes, I am actually doing that because I am being stupid. <laughs> Wait, oh, I can't wave it around anymore. Aw, oh, yeah, I got the sword. I got the God of Sword. The Mysterious Sword is bathed in divine light. Because I am so cool. Oh, man. Oh, this sword glows. I am, like, the coolest kid on the block now. Groose is going to be so jealous. I don't, I don't know how old Link is at this point. But anyways, uh, recognition complete, Master. Dino. My master. Yes, I am your master. Do my bidding. Get me a grilled cheese sandwich or else I shall smash your face in. Uh-oh, who is that? Oh, it's a uh, Kapora. I've had my suspicions about you, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, here we are in the chamber of the secrets uh, of the sword, the very place where it's foretold the youth le of legend will one day appear. It is said that this place is left, uh, left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down a select few each generation along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess sword shines bright, a great apocalypse will, re re will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is a youth guided by my hand that shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. So is that me? It started days ago. The sword I've kept secret all these years again began to give me a faint of the worldly light. At first, I wasn't sure if I was seeing this here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I've never dreamed of a prophecy that, uh, prophecy of a legend that would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided, uh, guided by one born of the blade, the one who is, uh, who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, uh, yes. The oral tradition. One of the most reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. Wait, what? No, it's not. Have you have you ever played the game Telephone? It always gets messed up in muddled at passings. But anyways, uh, it appears that the critical sections of passage have been lost over genera- Okay, see? I told you, you shouldn't be playing Telephone. Kapora, why'd you play Telephone with all, all this time in history? The youth draws forth the sword, shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Ooh, I get to team up with Zelda. That'd be cool. Some of Father's old texts talked about this place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skylock. So he went through. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the Surface. It is the only. Uh, it is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission that my Creator, the Goddess, has set before you. 
I actually read that wrong, because my brain is stupid. <laughs> um, it is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Dino. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. What is this you give me? This tablet will illuminate the path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it to the within the altar behind me. Okay, I got the emerald tablet. It's a weathered surface stone that feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest uh, sitting in this room with a skyward strike. The bla these blasts are form of pure energy of charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Uh, hence the name of the game, I'm guessing. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword and set out a powerful skyward strike. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, I gotta place crest here. Uh, crest. Uh, gear. Crest. Oh, wait, no, that's the sailcloth. Crest. Uh, okay. I just point skyward then. I just point skyward. Yay! Did I do it? Okay, so can I put the stuff in there now? Oh, nice sound. Stick it in there, Link. It's like a puzzle piece. How do you know it wasn't, like, for the other corner? <laughs> uh, okay. I guess that corner works. Master Dino, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has that uh, has separated the world from you know from the one below. The tablet you place on the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier, and you can use it to travel uh, to the clouds, through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I may reside in your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press, uh, okay. So you're gonna be my Navi. Dino, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems both you and Zelda have very big roles to play in this destiny of the land. Just think if what Fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you have to face, Dino. Especially down there. But if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. We, what we've seen today defies explanation, but it is the only start the starter journey. Please see it through and prove the lessons true. Okay! Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't want that. I meant to say okay. I understand how you feel, but this is destiny calling for you. You must not run from it, Dino. I meant to say okay, Kingy. <laughs> I'm calling you Kingy because you remind me of the King of the Red Lions. No one is drawing near. It, is long, it has been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Dino, and these clothes don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive uh, for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a journey. You better change before you go. Oh, that is so cool. That's like the uniform they wanted to give me, and then it just turned out to be like the hero's uh, garb, I guess. Yes, I went to save. Thank you for saving, but um, at this point, I don't think I've ever played past it because that was like the, yeah, that was like the part I played too. Hey, cool! I look like Link now. Mm. The green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I have my doubts about the color. All you know, seeing you wearing this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. 
It's as though you were born to wear it. Ha ha ha, really? Does it really look like I was born to wear it? I mean, I'm not that iconic, am I? <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Take care of your journey and be sure to stop by some of the shops in the bazaar here and equip yourself with some, uh, properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters to see if I can glean more useful information from uh, ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch and over you and guide you both. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do stuff. Alright, Gingy, I'll be back. I don't know why I'm talking in that strange accent. I don't even know what kind of accent it is. It's just like the crazy stuff. Oh, it's uh, Mr. Wimpy. Hi, Mr. Wimpy. What do you want, Mr. Wimpy? I got people to be... You're taller than me? Gosh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that green uniform looks so adventurous. You look like a knight now. I am a knight. Screw you, man. <laughs> the headmaster says you're looking out for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work in, into making this, so you should take it with you. I got an adventure pouch. You can store all kind of items. It's like my... Um... Oh, cool. That's like my... Um... um... Utility belt for Batman. <laughs> um, but that's an adventure pouch. That's for your adventure. It's neat because you can fit four things that you need. Specifically four things. Okay. <laughs> you, you 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 masterfully, masterfully engineered it that way. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, but you can buy all kinds of stuff in the buzzer that you can put in the pouch. You should go look. You can buy some potions and a shield and they fit in the pouch. And they might come in handy. Wow, I could put a freaking shield in there. That's cool. <laughs> Dino, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Alright, I'm going to the buzzer now. And buy me some shields. Hi, stupid. Hey, hey I just saw the news. All of us. Uh, how come you're the only one that got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of that, Groove won't come out of his room and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Uh, way to go, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. For some reason, um... I wanted to give him a voice, kind of like uh, Beavis and Butthead type voice, um, like Beavis. I think he kind of sounded like that. But uh, anyways, I gotta go. I gotta go shopping because um, shopping is obviously no fee, no interruptions. Master, I have an update about the stone tablet regarding the Columnite. Columnite has appeared south of our location. Signs indicate that the opening should be. Opening. Okay, yes, I know that. Okay. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword will result in increased probability of survival. Uh, if you haven't already not done so, purchase. Yes, I know. I. Yes, yes. And, uh. Not just subject to this gunsmaster. Once you're accustomed to controls, feel free to modify. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it, Fee. No need to worry for me. Uh, okay, that thing's beeping. Okay, I can modify. Yes, interface standard. Interface light. Pro. Standard. Okay, I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means, but I really need to purchase shield. Where can I get shields? Must be tiring running like that all day. Um, no, where buy stuff. I remember seeing shops around here, but I don't remember where. Is that a shop? Is this a shop? What is this? I'm gonna go go around and look for the shield shop. So, uh, one second. I think I found the shops. All right, this is cool. Um, <laughs> look at that person looking at me. Okay, that's fine. I just need a shield. What's this? What's this? My eyes behold, young man. What cal uh, what calamitous, calamitous, calamitous visions appear before me? You may choose not to believe me, but uh, my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead of you. But I can foresee what to befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Get deeply into my eyes. I come closer. All right, I'll come close. I will come closer to you. Gaze into my eyes and stare deeply into my eyes. You see many things. Oh yes, lovely round eyes can see into the future. 
Allow me to tell you, fortune boy, do you doubt these eyes? Look upon your shirt and see a single thread loose on your stitch, uh, sleeve stitching. Uh, nothing can hide from these eyes. I seek ten rupees to tell you a future, but I will charge one rupee. Uh, do you dare discover? Okay, let's uh, see. Yes, I knew it, ha! Huh? What a great treat. She were the first customer I have in a while. I mean, I am the best with what I do. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, let me see. Yes, your forehead is all coming into focus now. Are you a woman or a man? Because you have a mustache. Aha, I see many things. All is revealed. Young man, you are about to go ahead into a densely wooded area. Somewhere blanked in green? Ah, yes. My eyes, they see all. The trees everywhere. Yes, many, many trees. It will serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. Yes, I've been told that. As you can see, you're green yourself. Take a hard portion with you, too. That's all for the moment. Okay, so I'll take a heart potion and it, yes. Good luck, young man. Uh, okay, bye bye, weird person. Uh, I need to buy a shield. Um, you look like a type of person that might need shields. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use some stuff to find upgrade your gear, and make it even stronger. If your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. So what would it be? Uh, fix shield. Where can I get a shield? What's this nonsense? You don't have a shield that needs fixing? Uh, sorry about that. Yes, I would like some elbow grease and some headlight fluids. Gosh, you're so happy to see me. Um, you're a potion person, right? Yes. Yes, potion stop. Drink our potions and fill up your hearts. Um. Okay, uh, oh dear. I forgot to ask you if you have an empty bottle on. No, I don't. Where do I get an empty bottle? Oh, you're gonna give me a spare one. Cool. Alright, uh, yes, give me that empty. Yes! I've got an empty bottle! I can fill it with all sorts of useful things. Alright. That's pretty easy. Okay, if I ever get to the point where I can't fit stuff because it's full, I can do an item check. Um. Okay, now, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, I see how it works. Okay, I get it. Are you... Where's the shield... Shield... Shield, uh, seller? I need to find person who shields... Sell, sells shields. Are you... Oh, there is a shield there. Hey, customer. Hello, friend. My shop carries the finest things you'll find anywhere. Uh, please take a moment for your senses for uh, to savor the wonderful treasure I have prepared for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. How do I buy? Can I buy something? Oh yes, yes. Let me allow to allow me to explain. All you gotta do is stand in front of my wares and press A. Okay, I understand. Okay, no pressure. Okay, can I get this? Aha! It's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Uh, don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. Okay. 50 rupees. I've got a wooden shield. It breaks easily and it can burn, so i got to be careful. <laughs> Aha! Customer's always right. I've taken the liberty to place your purchase in your pouch. Uh, ooh. That pouch is, like, on me and you just, like, reached in there and, like... Wow. Can I, um... Alright, I'm going to buy some red potions then. Okay, uh... I think I just stand in front and, like... Okay, um... Okay, I just need red potion. Uh... Replenish eight hearts. Oh, I don't have two rupees. That's okay, then. Alright, I'm gonna go get some rupees and be back. Um, probably on the next go. Because we're actually out of time right now. So this time around... We got the Skyward Sword, was it? And then we got a shield, and then uh, we met Fee, and we're preparing for our adventure to the surface below. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this part, and I shall see you guys on the next one.